Hello, you wonderful people. Today, we're going to take a look how to get started with Strapi Cloud. If you don't have a Strapi project, no worries, because our new feature allows you to deploy your project from a template. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So we're going to start by signing into our account, and then we're going to choose create a project with a template, and I'll walk you through the whole process one step at a time. So let's jump into the video. Here I am navigated to my Strapi Cloud account, and now we have two ways to log in, either with GitHub or log in with Google. I already have my GitHub account associated, so I'm gonna click log in with GitHub. Now, if you are a first time user of Strapi Cloud, when you click log in with GitHub, it's gonna take you to GitHub and ask you to authorize Strapi Cloud to use your GitHub auth. For me, that step is not gonna happen because I already have an account. Also, the difference between my account and your account is that I already have a couple of projects there. Since you're just starting out, you probably won't have any, which is perfectly fine. We're going to click on create a new project and we have a couple of different plans available. For majority of the user, Pro Plan is the one to go with. You're also going to have an option to try a free trial for 14 days. I already used up all my trial days, so I don't have that option available, but that's the option you would choose if it's available to you to give Strapi Cloud a go. And I'm going to start with create repository with a template. So I'm gonna go ahead and click use template and I'm going to select my GitHub account that's associated with my cloud account and I'm gonna click create repository. Now you'll see that it has created a repo for us with a random name. If I navigate to my GitHub and search for that repo, you'll see that here's the repo that just was created with a Strapi project ready to deploy to Strapi Cloud. So let's continue that process. I'm gonna click close. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm going to call this Strapi template. This is perfectly fine here. Now we're going to click continue to billing. Here, you'll be asked to provide your billing information. Once you do so, you could scroll all the way to the bottom and click create project. This is gonna go ahead and deploy your project for you. So I'll be back once this is done. Now that a project is done deploying, you could check out the build logs, you can see the deployed logs. Even here on the runtime logs, you could see your logs in real time, which is pretty cool. But we're going to go to our overview and we're going to click on visit our app. This is gonna take us to our deployed application. And look how easy this was. We're just gonna go to our admin endpoint. And because this is our first time signing in, we're going to be prompted to create our first admin user. I'm going to type Paul Bratz, paul.bratzlavsky at strapi.io. Now, because this project is live, make sure you do not use a password like monkey123, but use something nice and secure. And I promise that is not the password I'm using. And now let's click, let's start it. Oh my gosh, look how amazing this is. We now have an amazing blog ready to go. We even have some data. This is fantastic. We have our articles. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. We have our author, we have our categories. This is really cool. We have our about page and we have our global page. Now, let me show you how you can pull this project locally and pull the data so you could start making changes. Now, before we could make changes to our deploy project, we wanna make sure that we have a local version of this repo. So I'm going to navigate to my repo of the project that was created, and I'm going to click on the code icon. Now I have GitHub CLI installed, so I'm gonna use this option. I'm gonna copy the link, and inside my local terminal, I'm going to run GitHub repo clone. This is gonna go ahead and clone my project. I'm going to CD into my project, and the first thing I'm going to do is run yarn to install all the dependencies. Once all the dependencies are installed, we're going to run yarn build. And if you're on Mac, you could run the second command using the ampersand and do yarn develop. This is going to build our admin UI and start our project locally. Now you're going to have this error and that's because we need to set up our environmental variables. I'm gonna open my project in VS Code I'm gonna to navigate to my env.example file and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to create a new file called .env and I'm going to paste my environmental variables here. Now we should be able to go ahead and rerun the command and everything should work. Because this is running locally and only using our local database and file storage, we have to create a new admin user. So I'm gonna do Paul Bratz, paul.bratzlavsky at strapi.io. 
Monkey123 works perfectly fine for your local environment. Let's click Let's Start. Let's navigate to our Content Manager. And notice we have our data that we had here before, which is fantastic. So now we are able to make changes to our project. So now let's say we want to update this article and we want all of our articles to have metadata information. So what we could do is we could create a metadata component. We could either do it inside our components by creating new component, but we could also do it from within here. I'm going to click add another field to the collection type. I'm going to call it component. We're going to call this metadata and we're going to add it to our shared category. I'm going to click configure the component and our meta component is going to have a title. This is what we're going to reference when we're getting the data from our API. So I'm going to say meta data and it's going to be a single component and it's going to have three fields. The first field is going to be meta text. Let's add another field. Second field is going to be meta description and it's going to be long text and we're going to add one last final field which is going to be a media it's going to be meta image we're going to make it single media and we're going to click finish so here we are we created our new metadata component we're going to click save and in order to redeploy these changes to our Strapply Cloud instance we just have to save it to our repo and push it to main so I'm going to stop my project. I'm going to do get status. And typically you would work from a different branch and do a PR request, make sure the PR reviewed. But for today, we're going to commit the sin of pushing directly to main. So I'm going to do git add. I'm going to do git commit with a message, added metadata component. And now we're going to do git push upstream origin main. This is going to go ahead and push our changes. Once our changes are pushed to a repo, this automatically is going to cause Strapi Cloud to rebuild our project. You're going to notice that it's rebuilding our application. You could click on the eye to see the progress. Once this is done, we're going to log in into our Strapi Cloud instance to see if our changes were applied. Now that our project is done deploying, we could go ahead into our Strapi Cloud instance and let's refresh. Let's go into articles, select an article, and if you scroll down, we should see our new metadata component. We could click on the plus icon and here we see our new component that we created, which allows us to add metadata to our articles. So in this video, we took a look how easily you can get started with Strapi using a Strapi template. I'm sure we'll have more templates on the way, but we also took a look on how we could pull the code locally, make changes to us and redeploy back to Strapi Cloud. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions let us know in the comments or join us on discord because every monday through friday we have strappy open office hours from 12 30 p.m cst time to around 1 30. we would love to see you there so stop on by to chat or ask questions but with that being said i really enjoyed making this video for you and i'll see you in the next one